the magical power of plants, the power of correspondence. Herbs are believed to have correspondence, a Wiccan term which refers to the alignment of the herbs themselves. This can be a difficult concept to grasp fully for those who are new to herbalism and Wicca, but it is essential to the effective and proper use of herbs in a magical context. The best way to understand this concept is to begin to think of each herb as an individual, like you would a person or an animal. You, as a person, have a gender. You have a planet that is dominant in your life. You have an element that is most resonant to you. Even if you don't know your planet or element of focus, they exist. Herbs function the same way and are often also sacred to specific divine entities. In order to properly use the herbs, you must know their correspondence, that is, their gender, their planet, their element, and to which divine entity they are sacred. Only by understanding these things can you properly work with a herb. Just as you would be ineffective if forced to work with an element that is not your natural resonant element, so too are herbs ineffective if used without respect to their correspondence. The other aspect of herbal correspondence is the specific power or meaning associated with each herb. If you use an herb that has a correspondence to power in a protective spell, it may or may not work as well as you had hoped. Fortunately, there are many grimoires and other references available that provide accurate, detailed information regarding each herb's correspondence and meaning. Intelligent Life on Earth the concept of plants, specifically herbs, as a form of intelligent life is one that is gaining traction. Scientific studies are beginning to confirm what healers and shamans across the globe have known for years, namely that herbs and plants are intelligent. While this is a radical concept to many, consider how long the world thought all animals were lacking in reason or intelligence. Science has already proven that idea to be incorrect. We know now that there are many very intelligent creatures, from dolphins to pigs, and previous theories on their lack of intelligence inflicted great damage on these noble creatures. Similarly, plants have an intelligence that is real and documentable. It is not the same intelligence as our own, of course. Consider, however, the basic definition of intelligence the ability to solve problems. Plants do this. They develop techniques that allow them to flourish when the environment changes. They develop defenses against predators. They maximize the use of their resources. All these are the actions of an intelligent creature. The most important aspect of plants as intelligent life is that they are infused with the spirit and power of nature itself. This is what gives plants their magical powers, and this is why they are so potent when used in spells. With this understanding of plants as intelligent, we must make careful and deliberate choices when cutting them for use in spells. We would not senselessly destroy an animal for our use without thought and consideration. We should give plants that same respect.